Hi, Dero Doers, and welcome back. Here at Bloom, we have a huge variety of customers and vendors, and so a one-size-fits-all approach to taxes just doesn't work. We need to apply different tax rates and use different accounts depending on whether a partner is domestic versus international or an individual versus a business. Let's take a specific example. In Belgium, we apply a standard 21% VAT rate, but when we sell to a B2B customer in another European member state, we need to use a 0% tax rate instead. This is known as an intra-community transaction, and this is where fiscal positions come in. These are sets of rules that can automatically map the default tax rates and accounts on a product to the specific tax rate and account for each partner. Let's take a look at how this works in our database. From our accounting dashboard, we'll start by looking at how fiscal positions are configured on taxes. So we'll go to configuration and taxes to open the tax list. And if we open our 0% EU tax here, you'll notice that the intra-community fiscal position has been set on it, which is the one used for B2B customers from other EU countries. In the replaces field, we'll find the list of taxes to replace when applying any of the mentioned fiscal positions. In this case, the local tax, 21%. So the local tax will be replaced by this 0% EU export tax for this fiscal position intra-community. This means that if any product with a 21% sales tax is sold to a customer with this fiscal position, Odoo will instead apply the 0% tax rate. Now we'll go to configuration and fiscal positions to check the list of fiscal positions that were already installed by default with our Belgian fiscal localization. We'll open the intra-community fiscal position to take a look at it. And if I click on the taxes smart button, we'll have a complete list of all the taxes that are used for this intra-community fiscal position. And going back to the fiscal position itself through the breadcrumbs, here in our account mapping tab, we can achieve the same kind of mapping as we did with our taxes, but with the account that should be hit. So on the left, we have the income or expense account that we want to be replaced when using this fiscal position. And on the right, we have the account that we want to use instead. And anything added in this legal notes field at the bottom will be included on the invoice using this fiscal position. Now that we understand what fiscal positions are, and we've had a look at how they're set up, let's explore how to determine when they're used. For that, we have several options. This detect automatically feature assigns a fiscal position automatically based on the fiscal position's configuration. So we can choose to apply it only when a partner has a verifiable VAT number, or we could uncheck it to apply regardless of their VAT. We can also apply this fiscal position based on their location. So this location can be defined as an entire country group, or it could be a specific country, or we could get even more detailed by applying it to just a range of zip codes. And this ensures that the correct taxes and accounts are applied when these conditions are met. But suppose a specific contact needs to be handled a little differently. In that case, we can go to the customer's list view, and we'll open a contact form. And in the sales and purchases tab, we can assign a fiscal position manually, let's say the EU B2C, for example. And this ensures that all their invoices and bills are going to use the correct taxes and accounts according to this fiscal position. And finally, if we need to be even more specific, we can set fiscal positions manually on an individual record, such as an invoice. So we'll go to our invoices and we'll create a new one. We'll do this for our friends JJ, and it's important to note that we want to start our invoices and vendor bills by adding the customer or vendor first so that the correct fiscal position is applied to the product. That's better than adding the product first and then going back to add the partner. So when we add a product now, such as our rose bush, we'll see that we have that 0% tax applied. And if we click into our taxes field, we can see the other taxes that are suggested are based on the fiscal position. If we check our other info tab, we can see that fiscal position here. It's the intra-community 
because this customer is located in the EU. If for whatever reason we wanted to change the fiscal position for this specific invoice, we could do that here, and it wouldn't change the customer's default fiscal position or the one that's been set to apply automatically for future invoices. So now we know how to configure your fiscal positions and use them to apply the correct taxes and accounts to our invoices and bills. That's all for this video. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.